That's right, yeah, Makia. So Team USA is going to be playing the Netherlands all the way on the other side of the world in Lyon, France. But fans all around the world are going to be watching this game closely, including here in D.C. in the DMV area. There are going to be a number of watch parties, the biggest of which will likely be here at the National Harbor. So I am joined by Deborah Topsik, who is the director of marketing here. She's going to walk us through kind of the day's events, how this watch party is going to unfold. Yes, good morning and welcome. Game starts at 11 a.m. and we'll have the pregame on at 10. And this whole turf should be crowded, should be filled with fans reading on USA, USA, USA. Uh, we have a special district stadium seating over here where people will be able to actually get some alcoholic beverages and sit there. And it's a little shaded, but it's not going to rain and it's the sun's not going to be blaring hot today either. So a great early morning game. A little cooler. And you actually have this um, yeah. kind of fake soccer field here. So tell me a little bit about that. Are people going to be playing yeah. soccer here before the game starts? Yeah, we've had this uh, little small miniature soccer field uh, since World Cup started on June 7th. Thanks for Prince George's Parks and Rec. Um, and people of all ages have been coming out and, and taking their balls and hats and whatever and kind of creating their own soccer game. And I understand you've had a number of watch parties here in the, to, to watch the games leading up yeah. to the finals. Um, what was the scene like during those games? You know, as the season or as the tournament goes further and further along, the excitement gets bigger and bigger. And as USA keeps winning, obviously the crowd keeps growing as well. But, you know, it's a great atmosphere in the bar. You might have some people, but this is, you know, we had a couple hundred people out the other day. Um, and it's just that, you know, you're, it's almost a stadium feel. That's why we call it District Stadium here. And it's, it's a little more exciting as if you're almost there and there's nowhere that you're going to get an 18-foot screen, no bar where you'll be able to get an 18-foot screen. And Deborah was telling me there, are, there were 3,000 people that came out last year, so you're expecting potentially a similar turnout this time around. So to get here early, you probably want to be here uh, around 10 a.m., an hour before the game starts. Makia? Sure, leave out now. All right, thanks so much, Inez. We're live at the National Harbor where they are planning a massive watch party for the Women's World Cup. We'll have all the details coming up. Our own Inez de la Cotera is live at National Harbor where there's a big watch party. They're all getting set up now. Lots of excitement ahead. That's right, Makia, and they've got a bunch of things planned here. They've got the big screen, they've got the Capitol wheel that's been specifically decorated for the Women's World Cup, and they have this mini soccer field. You already have plans, girl, uh, fans playing soccer right now, and we're joined by Deborah Topsick, who is the director of marketing here, who's going to tell us a little bit about what have planned. I understand you're handing out some giveaways. Yeah, we've got... <laughs> Going. We have some sunglasses. We think the sun's going to come out, but we're all about America here, USA, <laughs> USA. So we're pumped and we're ready for the women to bring home the cup. And I understand you guys have had a number of these watch parties before. Tell us about the kinds of people that have come out. You were saying it's all ages. You know what's great about Women's World Cup? It comes out every four years, but it brings out everyone. It's not just women. Women's soccer is one of those sports that's kind of unisex. Men love it. Men love it. Races love it, ages, we have everything from the babies out here to the to the, the senior citizens. We have it here and we love it all. And why do you think there is so much excitement um, when it comes to women's soccer nowadays? I think it's just something, it's so unique, it comes around four years and the women have been dominating for so many years. And, you know, last, last year our men did not make it to World Cup. This year they did. Uh, I mean, this year, and the women have made it every four years. So I just think everyone supports. And, and last, uh, last, last time this happened, so four years ago, there were about 3,000 people that came out to this watch party. They're expecting uh, similar numbers, so you want to make sure to get here early. The game starts at 11, so make sure to be here maybe about an hour beforehand. Makia? All right. And they've got all sorts of things planned for the Women's World Cup here at the National Harbor. They've got the big screen, a little soccer field, and they even have the Capitol Wheel that's been specifically decorated for the Women's World Cup. We'll have all the details coming up. Well, it's been a long journey for the women's U.S. soccer team, and today they're going to get their chance to defend their World Cup champion title in France in just a few short hours. Team USA will be taking on the Netherlands for the World Cup finals in our own. And as De La Cotera is live at the National Harbor where a big watch party is going on, well, it's going to be going on shortly. They're setting up now. Good morning, Inez. 
Good morning, Makia. And so they've got all sorts of things planned here. They have a big screen down there, a little soccer field, and they've got the Capitol Wheel that's been specifically decorated for the Women's World Cup with each gondola decorated with the flag of a country that participated in the Women's World Cup. So we're going to go for a ride in the USA gondola with Debbie Evans, who is the spokesperson for Capitol Wheel and is going to tell us a little bit about why you guys decided to do this. Well, we're in the USA gondola, and the gondolas are wrapped representing each country participating in the World Cup. And along with National Harbor, we really wanted to kick it up a level in terms of celebrating World Cup and what it means to our country. And even if you're not from the USA, you're cheering on the USA, but you may be cheering on your home team, you may be cheering on another team. So we really wanted to make it a very diverse um, activation and really fun for everybody. What's been the reception from kids who come here and see the Ferris wheel, soccer fans who see it? How have people reacted to it? So everybody loves it. It's really a surprise to see this. the gondolas at this giant observation wheel wrapped to look like flags. So the first reaction is a little bit of an ooh and an awe. Ah. And then people start trying to figure out which flag matches which country. It was actually a little bit of a geography lesson for me as well and a fun project to kind of match those up. Um, but certainly, by far, the USA gondola has been the most popular. And there were 24 countries participating, so 24 gondolas have been decorated. Exactly. Tell me about why you think um, soccer has become so popular in recent years, especially women's soccer. Well, it really is the year for girl power and women have been trying new things, breaking barriers, going into new arenas for centuries, but now things are really starting to shift and so we see it in the workplace, we see it in sports, we see it in schools, we see it um, in terms of you know what's being offered to women and kids and for parents it's really something for them to be able to inspire their children and let them know that they can accomplish whatever they want to even if it's 180 feet in the air. And then finally you were telling me there's all sorts of things that are going to be happening at the National Harbor so tell me a little bit about that. That's right. In addition to the viewing parties, lots of venues around National Harbor have appetizer and food and drink specials as part of their watch parties and those will actually be going on all day. The game is at 11 but we have drink specials here at the Capitol Wheel at our flight deck bar. We have a local Calvert Brewing USA IPA. It's only $5. We have a red, white, and blue sangria. We've also got appetizers from Fiorella. We have a VIP viewing area. And all the bars and restaurants are having fun and participating with specials for USA. Thank you so much, Debbie. As she mentioned, the game is at 11. You probably want to get here about an hour early, so around 10 a.m. They're expecting hundreds of people to come out, um, so make sure you get here early. Makia? All right, good advice. Thanks so much, Inez. Looks like a lot of fun already. All right, so today's game does have a little controversy surrounding it. When the game kicks off between the U.S. and the Netherlands, the U.S. could also be battling for airtime. FIFA has scheduled two men's soccer finals today as well. Their argument is that those three games together could draw more attention to the sport. But as you can imagine, some of the women who've worked really hard this season are not happy about this. That's a terrible idea to put everything on the same day um, in, in every way, um, especially, I mean, obviously there's, you know, there's two other finals going on, but this is the World Cup final. Um, you know, this is like cancel everything day. <laughs> Cancel everything. All right, we hear you. Well, Megan Rapinoe, who has already gotten a lot of attention this season because of her tiffs with President Trump, has also been very outspoken about the need for more respect for the women's team. She says they're worthy of this respect and they'll continue to fight for it long after this tournament is done. All right, you're taking a live look right now at the National Harbor, where a watch party will be getting underway later this morning to cheer on Team USA in the Women's World Cup. We're going to have a live report next. We are live here at the National Harbor where they are planning a massive watch party for the final game of the Women's World Cup. Team USA versus the Netherlands. They've got the big screen, the capital wheel that's been specifically decorated for the Women's World Cup, and even this mini soccer uh, field. You've got fans already playing. Uh, organizers told us that they are expecting hundreds of people to show up and to come out early. The game uh, starts at 11, so you want to be here about an hour early.